Hi, welcome back. Uh, today I would like to talk about the hash in the URL and see how it can be useful when you're doing your JavaScript front-end development. So let's get started. Uh, I basically have a simple page here uh, with an anchor uh, set up for pointing to hash tips and uh, I just have few images being shown and this paragraph is where it is kind of pointing to with the tips. So if you look at it, uh, whenever I click on this anchor uh, tips, it will make sure that this is uh, shown on the on the page itself. So we can uh, see uh, how it is working. So if I refresh it, lots of stuff was the anchor and you can uh, see it. If I uh, show it to you and uh, let's just click on it and you can see that it points to the visit useful tips and it, uh, you can see it. So that's the normal usage of something uh, after the hashtag and it has actually a special name. So if you look at uh, the location uh, in your console, uh, you can uh, expand it and you will see that the hash part is called this thing, the hash is the tips. And the main thing about this is that if you look at the network activity, it's not going to, gen it's basically when uh, you send the URL, it is only sending it to the main part and not anything that is coming after the, you, after the hash. So that's one of the significance of it, is that when you change this hash, it's basically pointing to various positions in the document. And that's the normal way of using it. And you can point it to various places if you want to do that, p equal to id equal to tips and add something else. Uh, another thing you can do is uh, you can uh, monitor this hash change in JavaScript. And I've written a little uh, function to do that. And let me demonstrate uh, to you how that can work. Uh, basically what I've done is I've added an event listener and this is our hash change. And then when the hash changes, basically I'm going to write on the console, the new hash, the value of the new hash. And I'm also going to write the whole document itself, the whole page, it's saying this is the second page. And here I am just doing a hair doc in JavaScript. It seems to work in the Chrome. And uh, it's going to display a form. So you can see that you can use this basically to traverse uh, within your uh, page and go to different locations. So let me see if I can uh, refresh this and pull up the new change. And if I click on lots of stuff, it's still doing the old things. Let me just kill this thing for a second. Make sure it is uh, gone. Okay, it's gone. I restarted it. And uh, let's just say uh, we go to the top here. And then if I click on lots of stuff, here you can see that it is uh, gone to my JavaScript function where it was changing the new hash is tips and now it is displaying a completely new different uh, page and uh, you would notice that when it uh, connects to the server it's still only uh, trying to get the main URL which is before the hash. So this is actually a technique that is used in a lot of single page apps and you can actually use it for yourself and the main advantage is that uh, if you can serve your page from the main uh, main URL and you can manipulate all of these other things in JavaScript. Hopefully you'll find this uh, interesting in your own designs. Thank you for watching this short screencast and if you want you can go to my website and search for these and many other videos. Thank you.